Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're going to show you the fourth part of the complete mining rig build guide and we're going to install windows and the drivers today. Okay, so the first step we need to do is install Windows onto our USB drive. So it's pretty simple to do this. You will need to download a Windows ISO file because of course we cannot plug a CD into our miner and we will have to do it through a USB. So you can download Windows with a torrent or whatsoever and it just can be any version because later on you will see that I'm going to change that. And first of all, you need to download the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool and download your Windows ISO, of course, and have a USB plugged into your computer. I'm going to show you really quickly on how to install it onto your USB drive. And I warn you, when we are going to install this, you will uh, erase everything that's on the USB stick. So make sure you moved every file to a destinate folder that you don't want to lose. So first of all, it's going to ask you for the ISO file that you downloaded somewhere and I'm going to choose mine version because uh, I have a really good one over here. It's from my original uh, Windows 8.1 and it's a 64 bit system and it's already activated. So it's not going to ask me for uh, the serial all of the time. And what you have to do is just go ahead and press next when you selected the ISO file and you'll see that it's going to ask you if you want to put it on a USB device or a DVD. Of course, we're going to do it on the USB device and it will automatically uh, find your USB drive in your computer. So then you can start begin copying it to your USB drive and it's going to ask you for if you really want to erase all contents from the device and just say like erase USB device. So now it's going to create a bootable USB device that we can later on plug into our miner and it will start the installation of Windows pretty easily. So after it reaches 100% it is ready to plug into your miner and then we're going to move on to the miner to install Windows. So now that we have arrived with our USB stick onto the miner, we can plug it into the motherboard. But of course, you need to plug in your uh, monitor into your first card and of course your mouse and keyboard as well. And then we can continue on to the next step. Okay, so first of all, I did something on purpose. I plugged in my screen into the wrong card into a small PCI slot card and that won't turn on your screen. So make sure that you plug your uh, graphics card and your screen into the card that has the longest PCIe slot, the 16 one instead of the PCIe one. So when you're in the correct card, you will see that your screen will pop on and start up your computer. So make sure you do that and then we can continue on to the next step. Okay, so now what your computer is going to do, it's going to boot into the USB drive and it's going to go through the Windows installation. So what you have to do is just choose your languages, fill in your serial numbers, and if you have a correct one, you don't have to do uh, the serial numbers. But I'm going to explain you, like, this is just temporary Windows, at least when you have Windows 10, you're skipping one step ahead because we're just installing Windows so we can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. So this is the next step and let's go on to the next one. Okay, so now Windows is going to go ahead and ask you some personalized stuff and whatever you want to do with a computer, name it, whatever, give it language, give it other colors and so on. So I'm going to skip this step really simple because you guys maybe are able to do this on your own because it's pretty straightforward and you cannot make any mistakes. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a link in the description below too and it's gonna be the free Windows 10. You will see it's like free Windows 10. I want you to download that and press everything like install whatsoever. But in the meantime, you can do what I did and that's downloading Tech Power of GPU-Z to check which memory types your GPUs have so we can BIOS mod them later on. And hopefully you don't have Micron, but very luckily someone found a Micron uh, memory BIOS mod at this very moment. And even two guys have uh, posted it and told me about it. So I'm gonna make that Micron memory BIOS mod later on too for you guys. But meanwhile, you can see that the upgrade of Windows 10 is downloading and it should be the same for you guys. So you can check your memory and do some stuff meanwhile you're doing it. And very luckily I had a Hynix and a uh, Samsung card in my 
in my computer but of course we cannot check it firmly because we need to install the drivers later on too so now windows 10 is downloading and after that you will have to install windows 10. okay so windows will start and installing itself on your system it will restart after and you will have to do the same settings as in windows 8 but after that you can right away install the radian software crimson edition 16.9.2 it's going to be the drivers for the gpus that we're going to use because 16.9.2 seems to be the most stable ones that i know for ethereum mining and other coins Okay, so now you just have to go through the installation of the AMD driver installer. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to press install and so whatsoever and just do an express installation. But just make sure that you unthink the button that says like automatically update your drivers because it will automatically put in the newest drivers and we just want to stick with 16.9.2. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish this video pretty easily because the BIOS modding is gonna be for part 5, but I can tell you one thing, the BIOS modding part of part 5 is actually an extra because if you want you can already start mining. So today I'm gonna show you where you can find a miner. So you can just go to bird1.com and if you still don't have a miner and you want to start it, you can uh, find all your parts on the buy your miner part over here on the front page. And if you want to go ahead and find your miner, you can just go to blockchain knowledge and go all the way down to the mining software where you can find all the miner downloads. So hopefully uh, we have some issues with Google that it says like it's a virus and stuff. So if it doesn't work, just go ahead and search it on Google, like the Claymore Miner V8, and you will find it as well from uh, the guy itself. And if you still don't know that, you can also go ahead and find it on my channel. I already made a few videos about Claymore Miners. Uh, I always update them when there's a new version coming out. For example, the Claymore Miner FV 8.0 is already out. So I already uploaded this one onto the website and onto the YouTube channel. So here you can find all the miners and you can pick one you want. But for example, we uh, installed Windows 10, so you need to install the Windows version, of course. Just extract it, and if you really wanted to, to know the tutorial about how to install the miner and how to set it all up, you will have to go to one of the videos that I show you where the miner is coming from. So that's just one step forward if people want to go ahead and mine right away. Your cards can mine already right now. It's going to be slightly less and you don't even have to mod your BIOS if you don't want to risk breaking your card. So that's one thing you can uh, go ahead and notice there. Because I don't want you to brick your cards if you have absolutely no experience with computers. But if you really want to give it a try and may risk breaking your card and you have to return it or even not. If you want to play it safe, just go ahead and find a video of starting off with a mining. I'm gonna put a link in the description below of everything and hopefully you are guided through this video here and if you still have questions just post it in the comments below and hopefully someone answers or I'm gonna answer you as fast as I can. So hope you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.